Elon Musk is rather unique. He doesn't really get paid much of a salary for Tesla. Instead, he got a huge executive compensation plan that awarded him with tons of Tesla stock options if the company did really well. And this happened in 2018. It's called the CEO Performance Award. And what, what Elon had to do and with the help of Team Tesla was to grow the company to enormous levels uh, with the company itself, but also with the stock. And this has happened, and Elon has subsequently been awarded with these stock options. And Elon has until 2028 to exercise these stock options. And what I'm going to do in this video is show you why Elon is going to wait until as long as possible, just like he did in 2021. And he's going to want to um, do it at the highest share price possible just like he did pretty well in 2021. I, I know that's a bit of a mind bender and he's gonna end up paying higher taxes, but he's actually gonna end up being better off by doing it at the highest price uh, or a higher price. I'm not forecasting that Tesla stock goes up from here, um, but the business is in great shape and we'll see what happens. So let's take it from here. I'm gonna be sharing my screen. My name is Bradford Ferguson. I'm with, I'm with Halter Ferguson Financial. And this is our disclaimer at hffinancial.com slash disclaimer. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you a, a spreadsheet um, that explains all this. Um, but first, I want to tell you that when Elon exercises these stock options, not only does he have to pay the strike price per share, but also he needs to pay uh, fifty-three percent in uh, in taxes combined from California and uh, the federal state, the, the federal U.S. government. Um, even if he doesn't pay California taxes on some of these options, the direction of this analysis is the same. Um, and what I'm showing you here is some headlines from uh, the Twitter debt uh, saga, where they. Um, Elon borrowed $12.7 billion um, for Musk's purchase of uh, Twitter, and it ended up that this debt is at high interest rates. So Elon just sold some stock, and maybe he sold that to pay some taxes for earlier this year, or maybe he did it um, to pay down this Twitter debt. Um, but there's no, there's no group of bankers just sitting on his doorstep wanting to give Elon a low interest rate loan. This, these loans are allegedly above 10%. Um, there's no one out there giving him a sweetheart deal, okay? Um, so these, these lenders didn't find good buyers for these loans. Um, so they're putting off uh, selling those on to buyers. Um, they're not even able to right now sell these uh, loans for a hundred cents on the dollar. So Elon, when he exercises these options, what he has to do is he has to um, he has to reach into his own pocket, into his own wallet, to find the money to pay the exercise price and the taxes. But guess what? Elon doesn't have cash. He doesn't have cash. So what what Elon has to do is to sell shares to pay these taxes. Okay. So um, what? Elon has a financial advisor, Jared, this is Jared Birchall on the left. And uh, this guy is a stud. Um, he is making um, a lot of great moves. Uh, some people call him uh, Elon's fixer, but he is his financial advisor. And what, what Jared wants to do with these stock options or with anything from Elon's portfolio is maximize the value at the end for Elon. So um, it doesn't matter what taxes he pays. If Elon can pay more taxes and end up with more value, then he's better off. If he pays less taxes and ends up with less value at the end, then he's worse off. I know this, I know this sounds totally weird, uh, but I'm gonna show you a, a spreadsheet that proves this. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna share it now. Um, so as I stated earlier, uh, the, the federal and state taxes are 53%, but this analysis is directionally true. 
even if um, some of these uh, grants happened while Elon was working in Texas for um, Tesla, who moved their headquarters to Texas. Um, so there's the, the choice that Elon has to make as far as when to exercise these stock options. And then, um, then he'll have shares left over. Um, so he'll sell shares to pay the strike price. He'll sell shares to pay the taxes. And we'll show that in a second. Then he ha has shares left over. And then these shares will hopefully for Elon will grow over time. And then they'll have a, an embedded capital gain where um, eventually Elon is going to pay 24% for um, gains on that stock. So the, these uh, stock options uh, were awarded at split adjusted price of $23 um, and 34 cents, essentially. Um, an old article says he got uh, 20.3 million shares. And when you multiply that by 15, that's uh, 304 million, 0.5 million shares. So again, Elon doesn't have extra money to pay the taxes or pay the strike. So he's got zero money to bring to the table. So we're gonna look at three different exercise prices because the question has been put to the community, uh, when, when is Elon best off exercising these calls? So, um, if Elon exercises them now uh, versus the uh, $23.34, he would have a $146 gain. If he waited until the share and that he would owe, owe federal and state income tax on that gain, it's not capital gain yet, it's federal and state income tax. Uh, if he waited to 500 a share, it would be 476. If we waited to 1,000 a share, if Tesla got there, uh, it would be 976. So then I looked at what are the taxes per share um, if he does it at these prices and using the 53% for California and federal. All right. So then, then we go um to the exercise cost per share which is 23 dollars uh in all cases so e elon needs to come up with that so when you when you combine uh, uh essentially these costs so this would be 101 dollars uh, roughly per share um and divide it by the current share price um so elon needs would need to sell these shares to pay the exercise price and the tax cost. So let's look at what that is in each case. So essentially it's 59.45%. And this would mean that Elon would, would lose the number of shares and um, this should not be in dollars and be left with 123 million shares in this case. So let's let's look at these other instances where you're actually paying a higher dollar cost, but because you're getting further away from this exercise price, because Elon has to pay 100% on, on the $23.34. He has to pay 100% of that. So the, the actual cost per share percentage actually drops as the share price goes up. This is pretty important. And really um, what brought this about is Tesla Nairs, how they tend to think is that they think in their, their number of shares and uh, you know how many shares do I have now? How many do I wanna grow it to? Um, and it's that final value is what's important. Okay, so we'll get right back to it. <laughs> Um, and really what Elon cannot do with this tax rate is he can't really change the tax rate. He, they can decide to do it now if they fear um, a higher tax rate in the future. And certainly that could change how many shares he loses. But um, what 
Elon and Jared Birchall, the genius that Jared is, get to decide as they get to decide for these shares that are left over, what's the cost basis for those shares? So the cost basis is, is essentially the exercise price. Uh, so let's let's uh, reveal that now. It's the exercise price. And if you can set a higher cost basis, you're going to be better off. Forget about the tax dollars for now, because by the end, I'm going to show you that he will have paid more tax um, by exercising it at a higher price and be left with more money at the end. <laughs> Stay with me. Uh, so let's say eventually Elon sits on these shares and he sells them at a thousand dollars a share and he wants to you know make a ten thousand or whatever starships and get Mars fully sustaining um, or whatever whatever Elon wants to do with this money um, this is the gain per share if Elon sells and what we see is if if Elon exercises at a thousand dollars a share, and um, you know, pays all the tax. Excuse me, pays all the pays the exercise price. That his new cost basis is a thousand dollars a share. So there's no further gain that Elon would be taxed on. So this would be like exercising it, you know, close to the last minute. And with Elon's 2012 performance award. He had until 2022, August of 2022, to exercise those. And he waited until 2021 and sold very close to the top in Tesla stock. So I'm going to show you why they did that. Okay. So let's look at the proceeds from these sales after uh, before tax. So we got um, 123 million shares. We're selling it at $1,000 a share. The proceeds would be $123 billion. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Um, so here it'd be more because we lost fewer shares in the beginning because there is no magical line of bankers or friends that is willing to loan money to Elon at a low interest rate. And Elon did not borrow money to uh, exercise his shares in 2021. He is not a degenerate like uh, some <laughs> some uh, Tesla nairs out there and uh, some rebellion heirs out there. So let's look at the tax per share. So here we have a, a, a gain of $830 and we're paying a 24% capital gains tax rate. So maybe it's 23.6 or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, it, this is still going to be di directionally true. So the tax per share is um, close to two hundred dollars, and a per as a percentage of that total proceed, uh, it's close to twenty percent. So let's look at that now. So Elon, he still does not have cash at this point. So Tesla's, uh, if things go right for Elon, is now at a thousand a share, and he's selling it. Elon doesn't have cash. And the bankers aren't suddenly deciding to kiss Elon's butt, okay? Um, so Elon has going to have to reach into his pocket, which has no cash, but it does have shares. And he's going to sell shares of Tesla to pay this capital gains tax when Elon wants to fund going to Mars. So let's look at the proceeds after... After paying this tax, this capital gains tax, um, Elon is looking at about $99 billion um, if he exercises at $170 a share. Um, he's look, if he does it at $500 a share, he's looking at $120 uh, billion in proceeds. And this is after tax. And he's looking at $140 billion if he 
establish a thousand dollars as his cost basis uh, when he exercises. So Elon, after tax, after all these taxes, is best off by exercising at the highest price, um, paying the most amount of taxes. And we'll show you that right now uh, because he ends up with the highest proceeds after taxes. So um, Jared Birchall, let's go back to Jared. I want to give this guy credit. Uh, this is like the picture I could find that makes him, <laughs> him look, you know, like a super rock star, which he is. Um, it looks like a satchel. That, that could be like a skull patch. This guy is a genius. Um, anyone's case, anyone's finances is a case study. You can't apply generic advice to your finances. And um, most of all, you cannot apply generic advice to Elon's finances. It doesn't work that way. Okay. You cannot do that. Um, so what I do, what my firm does is we help uh, provide a unique, um, custom tailored financial plans and investments for our clients. And let me just briefly share is that um, if, if you're a Tesla employee and you've been around for a while, you've been around for four more years, and you know maybe you're close to burning out, maybe not, uh, but you have a ton of in incentive stock options and non-qualified stock options, and you want to know what to do with that. Um, when you do retire or move on from Tesla, um, or if they downsize you, um, whatever it is, you're you're going to have 90 days to deal with your stock options. Um, so what I can do uh, for people is to help them choose the the path that's right for them uh, based off of their risk tolerance. Uh, you know, when do you exercise? Which ones? Uh, do we borrow any money to do that? Um, you know, how how do you handle that? and get a plan in place for your Tesla stock. And if you go to Morgan Stanley or someone like them, they're probably gonna insist that you uh, sell all your Tesla stock or commit to a plan of that. And I don't think that's right to force people to do that. Um, so we can help people to do that to, um, to handle their Tesla without forcing them to sell Tesla stock. And another thing I want to show is just some unique analysis we've done. This is my pen tweet on Twitter. I'm Brad S. Ferguson on Twitter. This is a um, an analysis piece that's coming up um, for an update to our analysis on this this company. I don't. I believe that Tesla is not the only opportunity out there, um, and we share our thoughts on this company in, in there. So it's been good talking with you. I hope this was of value to you. Um, I'll just put it on the screen one more time, the spreadsheet, so you, you can take a, a screen capture. Um, but I'm going to be ending it here in a moment. So e Elon is not, in, again, he's not incentivized to tank the stock to somehow make himself better off in the end when he eventually s sells these uh, shares gained through stock options to, to go to Mars. He uh, is better off with the highest strike price. And uh, ironically, he will have paid the highest amount of tax this way. And it's gonna be insane. <laughs> Anyhow, take care. It's been good talking with you.